One Piece Chapter 819 Review. Now this was a good chapter. Now, it will once again, like most of below, a setup chapter. But a lot did happen. Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, what I want to talk about in this video is of course Luffy and Momodoke. And that was handled amazingly. No in character for Luffy because of course Kenny Moan is the one asking, can we have your help? And Luffy's like, no, I don't want to help you guys. But then he looked at Momo and he pretty much like, you're their boss, stop crying like a little bitch and help us out. You know, help me out by asking for help, I guess. And so Momonosuke asked him, I said, help me, and he's like, okay. Same situation as with Nami, and to some degree, Robin, was even more willing to help Robin be in the circumstance of Grinnegan. But not in the best example of this, Luffy does not help people that don't want it. So unless Momonosuke asks for help because he's their boss, so unless he asks for help, he's not going to help them. So I love that. Now, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of great comedy. There wasn't much meat in this chapter, but comedy, oh my, I got a lot to talk about in terms of comedy. Now, hand down my favorite comedy moment was when Luffy said, Sandy worth a thousand men, and Zoro like stutters. He's like, well, just, just, well, I'm... I'm worth 2,000 men. I, when I first read that, I burst out laughing. Well, I was in a waiting room in a hospital, so I didn't burst out laughing. But you know what I mean. I wanted to burst out laughing. I loved it. And when I read the official translation, well, not the official one, but the manga stream one, I burst out laughing even more because I noticed Nami patting Zoro's head. And she was like, yes, yes, we know. With it kind of implying that the straw hat may not understand how big, in my opinion, I want to make it clear, it's in my opinion, the power gap between Sanji and Zoro is at the moment. I believe Zoro is maybe, is like, if Zoro was like a 95, I believe Zoro would be like a 90, not like a 90. I don't think, it, I think it's decently big. You can disagree with me. You're entitled to your opinion. Please no Zoro versus Sanji flame war in the comments. That is a whole nother video. Just please. But it was really good stuff. The comedy is out there. I'm trying to think of other great moments. Oh, and there was another great moment. It wasn't comedy, but it was after Luffy agreed to help Momodoke. Okay, so it was like Nami, Usopp, and Frankie smiling. And I can just see Zoro with his smirk. But, uh, but moving aside from comedy and moments that I like, there's something I want to talk about. Law and Luffy in this chapter. Law disagrees. Law did not. Law didn't disagree with Luffy's decision, but he obviously doesn't like it. Because he showed tremendous annoyance. He's like, why didn't you ask me, Straw Hat? So, if anything leads to a betrayal between Luffy and Law, I believe there will be a lack of trust from Law. Yeah, well, Luffy is trustworthy, you cannot trust Luffy to really tell you things. Or have you have a say in decision. Luffy is gonna go do whatever the hell he wants. And I believe that will probably be what causes the betrayal by law if it ever happens. Do I think it will happen? That's another video that I actually do plan on making. But... I wanted to quickly talk about that because that did bother me in the episode that stood out to me tremendously. And as always, art was phenomenal. It's Oda, phenomenal art, looks great. But you know what? I'm beating around. I'm beating around a bush here. This would be like talking about a Luffy character and not talking about how much he loved me. I mean, I'm just beating around a dead bush. Let's talk about Jack. So the last two pages of the chapter were probably the best of the whole chapter. Alright, probably, I can almost guarantee you the best. So, what happened? We see these ships approaching though, and they're like, We're here, Jack Sama, or Lord Jack. I'm sitting here, and I'm like, I had a feeling this was going to happen, but it's Oda really doing it. But we get confirmation that Jack had returned to Zoe after he dealt with Don Quixote del Flamingo. 
Now, whether he stayed still Flamingo or not has not been confirmed. Because, of course, the government is the government and they post lies in the newspaper. So, according to the government's newspaper article, in quote, article, it was this load of bullcrap, which was, Jack died in battle against Fleet Admiral Sengoku, former Fleet Admiral Sengoku, Fujitora and troops. Which, I never believed that. I never for one damn second thought Jack was dead. And you thought Jack was dead, you were an idiot. And it would confirm the other day that Jack wasn't dead. But, this is the world government. So they said he was dead. So, so I was just like, okay, we need to wait. Because he has to find Rizo. Because Kaido wants Rizo. And Kaido wants Rizo. He'll probably be pretty pissed if you come back without him. So he goes back to Zo, and now he's on his way there. Now, there was, no, this is where we get to the interesting part, because I need, but before, to talk about that, I need to talk about the condition Luffy had that he had when he formed the alliance on Zo. So when Momonosuke, Luffy, and Kinemon and all of them were talking, it was agreed that they would form the Ninja Pirate Samurai Alliance. I had to think about that for a second. But again, they're forming an alliance. It's a mouthful. That was a joke. Ustad made jokes about it in the chat, sir. But the point of this alliance is that they're going to take down Kaido. Because apparently Momonosuke's dad was murdered by Kaido. Now, I know I'm jumping around this bit in Nick review, but I'm, I'm, I'm just doing it because I want to. But because Momonosuke's dad and mom were killed by Kaido, he went to kill Kaido and... Luffy, like, I'll take him down, let's all be worth allies and work together. But Luffy mentioned he has to go, he's gonna go after Sanji. He pretty much confirmed. He, you know, he, he does confirm it. He is not doing anything until he saved his boy Sanji. He, nothing else matters to him at the moment. He said, we'll go to Wano, we'll do that, we'll do that. But saving Sanji comes first. But this is where we get to the interesting part. Is Zack, is Jack is at though? What's gonna happen? Is Luffy going to leave before Jack can find Rizo on the island? Are they, are they all, are they going to run away? I mean, I don't really know what's gonna happen because, because honestly, Luffy's going to want to fight Jack after Jack goes through what he's going to do because, well, Jack is going to kill the elephant. Now, there are multiple problems with this. One, Luffy and all these straws, they pretty much have to be off of the elephant. Because he killed the elephant, what happened is pretty much the flat, it could have crashed into the ocean right below, correct? And they crashed into the ocean, what happened to the damn Devil Fruit users? Just saying, what happened to the Devil Fruit users? I'm very curious here, what happened to that? Don't they all drown? I mean, if there are, and I mean the Devil Fruit users, on though, not the straw hat, but like, I can almost guarantee you there's at least one mink that had the devil fruit. There is no, like, what are they going to do? If they all suddenly crack, like, the straw hats are on instinct prepared to stay the devil fruit user. There's also, I think there may be an odd number of people right now. Let me think here. Yeah, I think there may be, I don't know if it's top of my head, correct me in the comment, but are there enough non devil fruit eaters that could actually lift them? Like, I don't, I don't think Nami could lift a Delph Reader underwater. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, she did in uh, Adventure of Neverlandia. The Death Club has always been really inconsistent. In Adventure of Neverlandia, Nami's lifting Luffy with one arm. But, and I know Nami cannot lift, like, iron. Like, a ton of iron. Easily. But, then again, if you have an Arlong Park, they would state it. He, he feels like he weighs a ton. Nojiko and Gendo could not get Luffy out of the water. Which, so I never really understood that. But whatever. The point I'm getting at here is that this is very interesting. It's the elephant thing, but the elephant user thing. But how do I think Jack will kill the elephant? I have a video I'll be recording probably on Saturday about this. And it'll probably go live next week. I'm not sure. I have a, I have to, I'm on my phone. I'm looking at my phone right now. I have like, around 12 videos for you guys of that one piece. I'm probably going to record three this weekend, a couple next week. 
straight, straight out weekend. I'm gonna try to get all 12 done within the next, like, two weeks. And get them all out over the, like, two weeks or so. But, yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my review. If I had to rate the chapter, I would give it a... I don't know. This was a really good chapter. I would give it a... A 9.5 out of 10. A 9.5 out of 10. Because it was a setup chapter. And also, not much happened in terms of action. And I want some action. But you know what I mean. It was still really good. I probably missed a couple of things. But guys, I'm tired. I I have to go to bed. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a great day, and tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below.